Have you ever wondered if it's possible to raid all Asia? Yes, it is possible. And yes, it does grant an insane amount of money. In this video, I will raid whole Asia as Pirate Republic Palimpan. Palimpan is the only Malayan nation that can easily become Pirate Republic through event. I wanted to play Palimpan for quite a long time, but its mission tree is, let's say, not really good. So, of course, what I've done is this. Europa expanded. Well, basically it's like vanilla, but with new missions. Just look at this beauty. I think you could sell this as DLC. Anyway, right now let's just do early game stuff. Mana privileges, this land, early just diplomats, Brahmin's education, and maybe that should be enough for now. We are starting as Hindu, so let's choose some deity. I think I will choose Shiva, why not, very good deity. As our rivals, let's choose Malacca, Brunei, and Delhi. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe build a little bit more of Kelly's. Can't go wrong with Kelly's. Maybe for company. And wait for one event. Well, here it is. Like I said, it's the only nation in Malaya that can become pirate through event. A pirate's life for me. Let's once again choose Shiva and we can finish our first new mission. Good rewards, but not OP. And because I built to our first limit, we can finish this mission. And get a lot of claims. Anyway, now let's quickly conquer Jambia. Before it allied anyone and let's see, maybe I can conquer anyone else. Also, by the way, I forgot to allow my trap hit. I should do it right after this war. I think we broke our tributary by becoming pirate, so it won't protect us. And Malacca might be quite aggressive. Well, I think blocking this trade is not really necessary. Let's instead raid. That's what pirates do. Here it is, we can raid whole Malaya. That's why, by the way, Pelimpan is one of the best pirate republics in the game. It can raid very rich lands right from the start. Look, it's already 200, already 250, 300, 400, 600 ducats just from raiding. Anyway, let's sell Jambia and think about our next expansions. Well, maybe I shouldn't have raided my Japahit, but well. Yeah, now it hates us because of our raiding. Well, we have a lot of claims, so we can expand even farther. I think let's insult someone like Santa, for example, or Malacca. Scornful insult. Let's see, will they ally us right now? Unfortunate, but no. Okay, let's build even more galleys. In Indonesia, galleys are everything. Thankfully, we do have a lot of money. Also, I forgot to hire advisors. Let's do it right now. And maybe let's build Spain and Turkon Sambas. Well, just in case. They have gold mine, and gold mine is quite important. And uh, let's ally Majapahit. Well, the downside is that I won't be able to raid it. Well, anyway, it's just temporary alliance, I will break it soon. Let's carry favors, and let's see on who can I declare. So, I have quite a good idea on how to expand. So, I will ask Majapahit for military access. Because we are allies, it won't be revoked after the war. And let's transport our troops. Okay, everyone is here, now let's declare on Indrapura. It's allied with Sanda. Okay, now I will move my troops to Santa like this. Here it is, so let's go to Arm, Promised Land. And my goal here, at least right now, is to quickly occupy Santa. I promise land, but of course I won't give any. Also, by the way, we can finish one mission. Interesting. Somehow we have quite large fleet. Anyway, because we have larger fleet than Machapahit and Malacca, we can get these bonuses, which are actually quite good. All the naval barrage won't help me in this situation. Okay, this one is interesting, I will leave it until after the war. Or maybe... No, okay, it's the best to use it right now. It is a quite unique bonus, I think there is nothing like this in vanilla. Although I thought I would be able to trade all Indonesia. Well, anyway, not big deal. So I see our region. Yeah, only Malaya. Let's maybe hire more mercenaries. Have tons of money, but not using it. And I should. Okay, I admit, maybe it was stupid idea to declare right now. Machapahit is getting destroyed by allies of Sanda. Sanda is no more. I will try to fully annex it. Well, I just need to wait for a little bit more. And I think... Not sure, but I think Achapahit will try to leave this war even without getting any land. The pretender rebels are already sieging their capital, and usually AI tries to peace out in such situations. Let's try to wait peace Blambankan and Bali. I think it should be possible if I just blockade their provinces. Yes. Okay, let's wait peace. And maybe even some money. With war operations and trade power. Santa finally agrees to peace out. Let's do it. Yeah, well, maybe it wasn't the smartest idea, but at least we've got a lot more land. High risk, high reward, let's say. Well, that's what I like about nations that can raid. They can punch well above their weight. Just because they have tons of money at the start. And also soon, yes. Just like I predicted, here it is. Majapahit decided to bail out. I'm not blaming them, but for me it's even quite good. Let's wait peace Bali. Also, by the way, because I've conquered Santa, I can finish this mission. Part of the reason why I declared. Okay, let's fully annex Intrapura, like this. And this government reform is why I love playing East Asian pirates. There are no possible allies for them. Well, maybe Bengal and Korea? Big maybe. But, well, by the time you can ally these nations, you can already just ditch this reform. The privateer's way. 
no alliances, but we will get quite big bonuses. Um, well, not really good. I guess if I don't do anything, we will be converted to Islam. And I don't want that. I guess that's Europe expanded part. We need to restrict trade. For this we need 50 administrative power. To be honest, that's the first time I'm playing in Indonesia in Europe expanded, so it is a surprise for me. Uh, let's restrict trade. Better to lose some income than become Muslim. And now that's definitely not good. Well, uh, maybe I should strike right now while I can. I wanted to go on Sampas for gold mine, but maybe Pagar Jung will be a better target. Yes, I know I don't have any admin mana, but don't care. Let's declare. So right now I need to occupy this province ASAP. Not even quickly, but ASAP. Stack vibe Siak, quite good, but not my goal. Let's do naval barrage, quite cheap actually. And by doing this, I will plug Ayutea from crossing the strait. We can finish one more mission, it seems. Let's see what exactly. A pirate fleet. Vanilla mission. In theory, I should try to build privateer fleet. Should be extremely effective. Interesting. Arrival of a Chinese treasure fleet. Of course, we don't like Chinese, so let's try to install them. Minus 10 aggressive expansion impact. Chinese trying to bribe us. Well, okay, let's accept. I don't know what Chinese in game is, but I can't say no to army tradition. And let's try to scrap Siak. Chinese are just bombarding us with events. Sorry, we don't fix ships. I will take on points from Siak and I think break its alliances. This province is necessary to block this trade. Now I can just park my ships here and no need to occupy any points. Chinese are giving us free general. How interesting. And summon power. Also important. Well, it really is interesting event chain. Of course, I'm a Chinese puppet. I will refuse their demands. Also, by the way, this general has two siege pips. Thank you, Chinese. Okay, finally, Chinese are going away. Okay, it was a lot tougher than I expected, but well, at least we can fully occupy Paragun. And Siak right now is extremely weakened. So, in theory, I just need to destroy their army and they will capitulate. Eventually, at least. And now they should surrender. Well, maybe not right now, but eventually. Well, just like I said, they surrendered. Had to spend some mercenary manpower, but at least my usual manpower is okay. Let's deal with some mercenaries and hire new ones. And it seems I can raid once again. Let's do it. Well, it seems much of a hit exploded out a bit. Anyway, I think I should declare. And they can even make Barus go belligerent. Okay, first I'll move my troops here to quickly annex Barus. It would be better to declare like this. Declare on Barus, make my triangle belligerent, and then I can just piss it out and return to our friend. It seems it was a good decision. They can't even siege down this world. And here we go, almost one. Just need to stack wipe the troops. I'm almost sure I will stack wipe because they have one more tech legs. Although no, they have good general. Well, general couldn't save them. Let's try to pull occupy. It seems we can even fully annex Matram. I'll take frequent elections as next government reform to increase the mana generation. I wanted to move out from here, but I noticed that the mug is unprotected. No allies to help it. Okay, maybe I underestimated the coalition. Okay, let's fully next Paros at least. And now I need to think about Demak, specifically about coalitions. I will fully annex Demak in the next war. Right now, let's just take two provinces just for our missions. Should have released Mataram and declared a conquest, but well, we have what we have. Anyway, let's pass out. Here the mission Machapahit Nils. Get some army tradition, important. By the way, everyone is hating me. You know, it's like even kinda sad. Let's delete one fort here, not necessary. And I think it's time to start the Open Renaissance. I will develop it in Java. Our capital is quite unfortunately in jungles, so it will be quite expensive. Well, it's time to declare. This time I won't be so kind to Siak. Let's conquer. Our rebels just killed my enemies. I think I should start building privateering fleet just to test it out. Maybe let's build flagship. Light ship with privateering efficiency, trade power per ship, and maybe movement speed. And let's build a little bit more of light ships. As first idea group, I would take exploration. Maybe expansion would be better for colonizing, but I don't need a lot of colonists, I just need to explore. Explore and spread out my colonies. Let's wait peace Atsif. Right now I don't want to conquer anything. We need to do it slowly. And let's fully annex Siak. Even some money. Also, by the way, I kind of forgot about Okinawa. If I improve relation to Druku, I would be able to finish this mission. Let's try it out. I'm not sure, maybe I shouldn't raid just because of aggressive expansion. Raiding basically makes Coalition guaranteed for me, but it's fun so I can't stop. And by the way, we can choose Naval Doctrine. I can try this one, Free Horseman, for galley compatibility. But on the other hand, I want to try to become priority in cut. Let's take ship trade power. I don't really need even more power for galleys, because of Pirate Republic they're already quite OP. Let's privateer in Malacca, let's try. Maybe I truly created a monster. 30%. Maybe let's try privateering in Siam. 34%. I definitely need to build more ships. Okay, we can finish one more mission, a Scourge on the Seven Seas. And by the way, it's also from Manila. 
your usual pirate missions. And here we go, I improve relations with Ryukyu and we can try finishing this mission. Anyway, now we can hire explorers, quite cool. I'm already building ships for this. Ternite is going wild by the way, already colonized almost all solo base. And as next reform, I will unlock clergy. Let's get some reforms. Need to wait one month and here it is. So I'm going to give out mana privilege, religious diplomats, clerical education and Brahmin's land rights. I almost never give out this privilege, but this is an exception. Pirate Republics aren't meant to play white. They are meant to play like much republics. Just conquering one province every three sea tiles. That's why it has the buff on guarding capacity. So I need as many of it as I can get. Also, of course, I just remembered that this province is called mine. Well, I will first get one colonies, then develop it, but have to remember about it. Maybe let's even lower autonomy here. And that's why I didn't conquer anything for that one. The mark was allied with my neighbor Delhi, and I wanted to, let's say, kill two birds at once. Let's declare. Okay, let's take wipe Delhi. Perfect stack wipe. And now I will turn my attention to Java. And finally, first colonist. So I can either colonize Taiwan. I can. Okay, maybe I can't. Then I will colonize the Andamus. Let's choose native coexistence. And let's start colonizing. If I colonize these islands, I would be able to raid, well, basically this whole stretch of land. Okay, let's pass out Delhi. There shouldn't be any collision. At least I hope so. And we can finally finish one more mission. Successors of Malayu. Plus 5 morale until the end of game. I think I won't rush next in the mark just because of collision. So maybe I will start raiding India. We can do it. It's of course not called India, but half of it is also good. And Renaissance is here, finally. Well, there is still problem of coalition. Well, it's not like I won't be able to beat all of these nations, but I don't even want to engage in this war. I think I will wait for a little bit more. Well, I think that's the biggest coalition I can get, literally. And it can only become smaller. And because of my successful privateering campaign, I can finish this mission and get plus 50% privateer efficiency. First 20 years, but still not bad. Let's check it out. Yep, not bad. Definitely not bad. By the way, quite early. Quite early. And 6 points not in India. Well, in theory it should be possible, but quite interesting. And let's follow an demag. I was waiting so at least Brunei won't join the coalition. And it shouldn't. Can't say no to even more privateer efficiency. Also, by the way, Min doesn't feel good. Well, quite not but event considering that after a few raids I will be able to buy Renaissance. Okay, here we go. We can buy Renaissance. Quite interesting, I sent my privateers only to Bengal, but for some reason I can fulfill this requirement. Well, okay then. Got claims from Madagascar, don't know what I will do with this. I think I found very good expansion opportunity. Declare on Plan Bengal, not make Barrow go belligerent. Obviously their ships don't stand a chance. I will break Barrow's alliance with Sambas and then conquer it. As next garment reform, let's take naval professionalism. We are naval nation after all. Okay, let's take war patients, money and break its lines. Maybe even with Ternate. Okay, let's conquer Plampangan. And my next target is Sampas. Let's see, maybe they allied someone else. Yes, they did. Makassar. Interesting. I think I'll raid once again, buy some company and we will declare on Sampas. Let's take aggressive expansion reduction as first ability. I decided to buy not company, but to buy some usual regular army. Okay, let's declare on Sampas. I actually wanted to make Makassar co-belligerent, but now that I think about it, might be not the best idea. Well, I would actually love to conquer Sulawesi, but I don't have ground capacity for this. It's time to colonize Taiwan, if I can, of course. Interesting, it seems I can't. Well, okay, let's buy this idea then. And now I can. Let's wait peace Kutai, and I should be able to soon conquer Sampas. A second tier group I will take, maybe humanist. And that's why I colonized Taiwan. That's beautiful. Well, it would be better if I could colonize this province, then I would be also able to raid Eastern Korea and a little bit more of Japan. But this is also good. Basically, I already can raid all India, China, Philippines, and Indonesia. Okay, let's fully annex Sambas. I have done this just for gold mine. Even without India, raiding paid off all of my loans and even left me a lot of money. Okay, I need to full core this province. Would buy my guarding capacity, but it's necessary. Maybe you want lower autonomy. Last 100 guarding capacity. We can declare on Brunei. And the current reform I've been waiting for for quite a long time. War against the world. It gives us early imperialism. And it's not like, I don't know, those Wood or something similar. But I can declare on literally anyone I want. Literally. I will use this to raid even more land. But for now, let's just conquer Brunei. It also decreases aggressive expansion and Prince for score cost. I think I should hire Colonial Range Advisor. Let's do it. And let's check out our Colonial Range. Okay, good. Also good. I think I will try to conquer a few provinces from Japan and from India. And what happened to Min? 
Oh, looks quite fun. Looks quite fun. Maybe I should join in on Chaos. Okay, white piece to Punjar. Take out Brunei and soon I should be able to fully annex it. Well, not fully, it's already living in the Philippines. But at least it's a mainland part, let's say. Brunei agrees for peace. And not only I will get some pretty borders, but also will be able to finish one more mission. That's why I took this small island, to get necessary amount of provinces. Good Admiral plus to magic trade power. Can't say no. Now I think I will declare on Chi. Just need to transport my troops. I'm not sure if it's confirmation bias, but I think every year I have at least one event where I can lose one stability. I don't know how I angered the RNG cut, but it's true. I was dexgrating. Game literally spams me with negative stability events, and I don't know why. Okay, this should be enough for invasion, let's declare on Chi. Just one province. Not need much. Okay, already occupied their capital, I think I can just take one province. Well, not yet, but soon. Oh, yeah, here it is. I took this province just for raiding, nothing else. And we can build one more colony. Let's think where. Well, we can either build one in Siberia, trade prosperous Siberian tribe, or we can put one in Papua and trade prosperous Australian tribes. Difficult choice, difficult choice. Okay, well, I think let's put one in Australia somewhere. I will conquer some provinces from Rochoni, so no need for Siberian colonies. Speaking about Rochoni, let's see their tech level. Yeah, I think we can declare. Ideally, from Rochoni, I want this island, this island, and maybe this part of Hokkaido. But I'll see what we can get. I just want to raid whole Far East. Unfortunately, I had to do this. Wanted to do the usual naval invasion, but they already were waiting for me. Okay, it went better than expected. I can conquer quite a lot of provinces, and now I will be able to raid whole Korea, whole Manchuria, and whole Siberia. But not whole Japan. Maybe let's raise autonomy in these provinces. Don't want no rebels. These provinces are not worth the trouble. Let's maybe even add them to trade companies. And let's prepare for invasion of India. Well, it seems Taiwan spawned naturally. Let's wait for a little and I'll declare. Before it gets any allies. I need to transport my troops. Okay, let's destroy Taiwan. By the way, plus 40 privateer efficiency. I will wait for one month and we'll check out our privateers. By the way, about raiding. Let me show you. Isn't it beautiful? It is. I just somehow need to raid Japan. All Japan. My theory is that if I conquer this province, I would be able to raid whole Japan. Taiwan has become the pirate stronghold. And to let's check out our raiding. Yes, I was right. Now we can raid whole East Asia. Well, I would like to raid, but I think maybe we should quickly conquer some miners here, so I can also raid West Asia. Yeah, so we have to take even more loans, but no worries, I would be able to pay them out after I raid. And I forgot to check our privateers, let's see here. Third of trade note in Cromandel. Not bad. Okay, uh, let's go. Yes, of course, it's hard to get Yanagar, but Gujarat would never grant access to it. Never. I would just transfer my troops and pluck Vijayanagar from naval landings. Naval landing was successful, just need to keep an eye on Vijayanagar's fleet. And it seems my trading ships are enough to destroy it, without even galleys. Anyway, let's try to hunt enemy fleets. In Eastern Indian Ocean. Capture their flagship. Okay, I siege them down, now I just need to wait for taking war score. I doubt it will let us fully annex it, just because of Vijayanagar, so let's just take one province, just for raiding. Well, quite unfortunate I have truth with Vijayanagar, but I think we should be able to raid all of Vijayanagar, at least in theory. Now I think I would either declare on Mushasha, maybe on Ormus, let's see. In theory, in theory, I could assault their capital and just hold it out. Well, I don't see any force, maybe, maybe let's try Ormus. Well, the problem with my expansion is that I am angry in tons of nations and opening myself up as a target. Yet I don't have any allies. Let's choose Korea as our rival, why not? Okay, let's assault and hold. Quite easy. Oh, and it seems I have three colonists. Let's see what can I colonize. Maybe this island, why not? Took out a bit of waiting, but my strategy was flawless. Just had to wait and nothing else. Let's also increase autonomy. I don't want to deal with this. And it seems we can already raid whole Persian Gulf. My next target is, I think, Warsangli. I would like to take one small isolated province. It doesn't matter for raiding, but I don't want any more neighbors. Especially aggressive neighbors. Almost, almost all Red Sea. Oh my god, it is beautiful. It is just beautiful. Just one more province and we can raid whole Asia. Obviously I don't want to border Mamlux, but if we have to, we have to. No other choice. I can't pass on this opportunity. Anyway, my support is not needed here, I must deal with rebels. Let's start going era by the way. And in my opinion, it's time to clean up our borders. Especially considering that Malacca got beaten up by Ayutthaya. And we can peace out Yemen, it seems. I have the last province here. Once again, I hope Mamex won't declare on me. But even if they do, I will lose just, like, one province and maybe some money. 
they can't take Indonesia. And let's just fully annex Pasai. Most of Indonesian Muslims are not present, so there won't be any coalition. And let's do this words. Maybe I will leave just one. Okay, time to start a raiding. Madagascar and Southern Kiva are quite poor, only around 100 ducats. Just so you understand, from these two tiles I already cut 100 ducats. Like from whole Southern Africa. Now let's raid Horn of Africa and Arabia. Also quite poor, nothing close to China. Well, around 200 ducats. And now let's raid Persia, for now disappointing. Around 150, India should be a lot better, let's try it out. Ok, yes, India is a lot more profitable. And I mean a lot more profitable. Although it seems they're protecting trade, hunting pirates. Yes, they are. Well, it screws with our results a little. Indonesia is quite rich for raiding, and no pirate hunters. What trade Oceania already? Well, not quite Asia, but next to it. 67 just from this sea tile, natives are quite rich. Richer than expected. Now time for Philippines. Well, it's not the main dish yet. Japan and China are where the money at, together with India. Well, considering that you can rate every 10 years, that's quite good income. Yes, China is very rich, like 100 tickets from one sea tile, together with Korea. Already can pay out all of my loans, there were 7 if I'm mistaken, each of them was like 300 tickets. And we can finish one more mission, plunder China. Ok, let's rate for East, let's check out Siberian tribes. I guess I'll get around 5 tickets, I don't know. Well, actually I was joking, but ok. Yes, 5 tickets each, I'm going to get rich. And at last, Japan. 9 tickets, not a lot, 18, well, I'm disappointed, not a lot of money. Southern Japan is good, 73 ducats, 64, well, I think it was around 3k ducats, around, considering all of our loans, all of our events and our usual spendings. So yes, it is quite profitable to raid whole Asia. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you liked this video, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.